Don't look at me like that. I'm Burko. Welcome back to Bird Builds. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, that last episode was really short and I didn't have a lot to show you. For a series that's supposed to be like, rock your socks off survival single player, it wasn't good enough, was it? But we're gonna change all that today. I have six projects that I want to get done in this one episode. But for now, they all kind of hinge on an iron farm. So that's what I've been preparing. As you can see, I have nearly completely destroyed an entire village and flattened the ground around it just for my own personal gain. Now while I only plan to build one iron farm in this episode, as it's all I'll need for the moment, I actually plan to have six in this area. Now, it's probably difficult for you to wrap your head around exactly how much space six individual iron farms takes up. So, for an example, this is the schematic of the decoration I'm going to use for the iron farm. It's not quite placed correctly, but you can get an idea of how enormous it's going to be. Alright, so this is what it looks like when I've lined it up a little better. As you can see, it is ridiculously big. And so now the first thing we need to do is clear out this entire area to prepare it for the build. Also check out the new skin by the way, my friend Angela made this. If you want a new skin, hit her up. I got a cold. My voice sucks now. You're gonna have to put up with this for a bit. Well, we now have all of the things together that we need to build this iron farm, and given how much we're gonna be bottlenecked by lack of iron if we don't, I think we should just get started on the building. <laughs> farm is almost fully built, and now I just have to get the villagers into it, which I'm doing with the help of this machine that I call the I Do Not Like Working With Villagers Otron 3000. Stay in there, you three. And I gotta say that the colours that I happened to choose for this turned out to look really, really good. Um, I'm really happy with how this looks now, actually. I'll save you the trouble of having to watch me move all these villagers myself, but just so you know, th this is awful. I hate doing this. Now just imagine me doing that about 50 more times because, well, here comes the last one. There we go. That's all the villagers done. I just need to get the pillager in now. Hey, you. You, 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 you. Get in the boat. <laughs> They're chasing after me. Oh, fuff. How did that happen? Oh, the thorn's armor's gonna kill him. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna see if I can get him to kill a fish. Mm. Oh, that was close. Oh. There we go! Nicely done. So what I have to do here now is just sit here and wait for his crossbow to break, at which point I can get him into the farm, and hopefully everything will just work. We're going spearfishing. Well, his crossbow finally broke. That was really tedious. Now I have to get him out. Uh... I mean, will this work? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna drown! Shit! Okay, he, he exited. That's good. 
Oh, I forgot they do that. Just get on the land. That that's very nice of you. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay. Up we go. Zoom. Now I'm not gonna take any chances with this. I'm gonna take Oh! Wait, that just generated one. Okay, I should be able to take this block away and just sort of shove this guy onto that powered rail down there, and it should just work. Oh, on God, bro, pick a direction. What is this? Okay, you are supposed to go this way? There we go. Alright, let's get rid of this. Is it spawning? Oh, let's go. Yes. Yes, it's working. It's working. Okay, so I've brought back some warped signs so I can put that in. It's not the same as the crimson signs that I've been using, but I don't care. I've also realized I don't have a storage system here, and that's really bad. This farm produces like five double chests of items an hour or something. I only have three chests here. This is bad. I really should have brought an axe. Oh well. This should hopefully hold all the items in. And now I need to get through the enormous pile of iron golems. What the hell? Right, excuse me, gentlemen. I need to put a sign here. I need to put a sign here. There we go. That works now. Um, can I get out, please? <laughs> Carefully, this should just work. All of these golems should die. Oh no, that's not where that block should go. <laughs> Crap. Well, it's uh, it's functional. But woo wee, that is double my current iron supply in the like minute and a half that this farm has been running. <laughs> and it was at this point I did something really stupid. You see, I have this thing called a life, and it had a flare-up and decided to ruin things. And so, yes, I let it get in the way of me making more Minecraft videos. I hope you can accept my apology. But the really dumb thing I did was to do all the projects I wanted without actually recording anything, so let's go over what happened. Once I had a good amount of iron for myself, I started working on a behemoth of a super smelter. 32 furnaces and all this wiring here is to try and make this smelter what's called perfect every time one item is smelted and another item is dropped into the slot. However, it doesn't quite work properly. Oh well, at least the bamboo farm is keeping up with the kind of loads that I'm putting through it. And then, finally, I got to work on the piglin bartering system. I slightly modified Nam Mom's design for this, but now that I've put everything in, I've run into a bit of a problem. You see, sure, I finished this entire thing, but piglin barter stations need something. And that something is piglins. More specifically, this barter design needs 192 piglins to work correctly, which is too many. Now, I've been using this setup to collect piglins the whole time, which is annoyingly slow and wastes fireworks at minimum, so we need a better solution. And that solution is this, Gilly's Piglin Farm and Sorting System. Okay, so, this, so what this thing does is that it spawns piglins in like the piglin farm area up the top, and then it collects them and sorts them automatically. And so this thing will basically feed into that. What? That's not what I wanted. That thing will feed into that. This thing will feed into that for me, basically. It, it drastically lowers the amount of work because I need to move like 170 more piglins into this thing. And I did like three hours of work off stream, like with this thing. And I got like two. I was just like, fuck it. I need a better design. So, what we're going to do is build this, which is a better design. Sag, can't believe it's been two years since Among Us Sussy Balls was first uttered. And with that, this piglin farm is sort of done. There's a couple things that need to be fixed. Obviously, I need to have an actual output for these piglins right now. They just sort of drop off and fall down. But the other thing we need is two wither skeletons. This is going to be a whole project in and of itself, because my nearest nether fortress is a thousand blocks down that tunnel. So step one will be to remove all this packed ice and rails, and put powered rails on ice instead. Then I have to work out how to get the wither skeleton up onto the nether roof without any piglins shooting at it, 
And then I have to work out how to get that same those two same wither skeletons into the farm, and one of them is in a really claustrophobic spot. Don't mind me, just using up all the gold I got in the last episode. I gotta say though, this is really satisfying to do. And done, sort of. A couple hours later, we're over here. And now I have to work out how to get the minecart up from down there. But because I don't want to deal with that yet, I have to think about how to get the wither skeletons up onto the nether roof on the other side as well. Currently, I've only got this one by one hole, which, while wither skeletons can climb ladders, I don't particularly want to be chased by a wither skeleton. So I guess I'm going to have to break more bedrock to get a minecart up here. Now for those of you who don't know how bedrock breaking works, you build a thing that looks like this. You get under here, you go into your keybinds, you change your use item place block key to some key on your keyboard specifically. Go down here. Now you smash this lever, aim right here, and hold it down. And bam! The bedrock is gone. You can also just mine the bedrock with a pickaxe if that's more your thing. Okay, so I do have a plan for kidnapping a wither skeleton, like that guy. But I do have to get them up here first, so I think we're just gonna have to start building out something like that. Oi, don't do that. I should be able to lure a guy into that and stick him in a minecart. Come on, come on. No! Get in the hole! Oh my goodness. Oh, I moved this the wrong way. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to get another one. Can you? Thank you. Oh, come on, get in there. What? No, what? There was a piglin right here? Oh, and this doesn't work. Okay, well, attempt three. What if I do this? So he thinks that the only way to me is down that hole. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Much better. All right. Let's follow this guy. If this doesn't work at the other end, I'm gonna be so mad. Please? Bro, are we serious? <laughs> okay, well, we'll do it the old fashioned way. Yes! <sighs> one down, one to go. <laughs> Did we name? Oh, Alright. And now we have follow him and hope that the other one has not despawned. He despawned, no! Nice. Alright. Alright. Stinky skeleton. And now we should be good. Um, excuse me. There we go. Okay, and now replacement skeleton is in. There we go. And with that, I think I'm going to call it a day on this one. Um, I will hopefully get all the piglins moved in, but that's going to be a long and arduous job. So I think I'll do that between episodes. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time.